Hello all, on Sunday the 15th of August I've been concentrating a little bit about Isaiah 40 verse 31 which speaks of waiting upon the Lord but those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint this is the holiday season and obviously people have either been or are going and I know in the preparation preparation for all of this that's what I really needed I really felt that that yes this was a period of time where to wait upon the Lord to rest and renew strength you know wait this is what it said have a single and consistent focus on God as the source of your life it's great isn't it have a single and consistent focus and that's what we need so let's pray for one another tonight that we have this single and consistent focus upon God the source of our life let's wait let's be ones who are confident in expectation of what God will speak to us and I love this, in my studies around this, in this waiting upon him. He does not work according to our schedules. He doesn't, does he? God sees everything from his perfect perspective because he knows what's best. And that portion of scripture in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, he truly does know, doesn't he? He truly does know the plans to give us a hope and a future. You know, it's fantastic, isn't it? Because then, when we know that, when we rest upon him, when we have confidence in him, when we know he is the source of our life, he renews our strength in everything. And then, as in Philippians 4 verse 13, we can be those who say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Even in our weakest moments, times of uh, desperation, despair, times of tiredness, we can rest upon him and look to him to renew our strength. You know, Isaiah 46, this is another came, verse came out in my studies. Isaiah 46 verse 10, I make known the beginning from the end, from ancient time what is still to come. I say my purpose will stand and I will do all that I please. He knows, doesn't he? He knows the beginning from the end. He knows everything. You know, a few weeks ago, Matt was talking about awe and wonder of the universe. He, he made all of everything. He made all the universe. He knows all these plans he has for each and every individual. And we should take confidence in that. You know, he provides what is best for us. It was a great verse, this. Or oh, great explanation. He provides what is best for us when it is best for us. Good, isn't it? He provides what is best for us when it is best for us. <laughs> Psalm 27, verse 13 to 14. This little paraphrase. Wait for the Lord and be strong and take heart and wait for God. You know, he knows. He knows all these things. We wait for him. We listen. A few weeks ago, again, a few weeks ago, um, Esther spoke uh, and then I spoke in the Encourage. And it was all that week about listening for the still small voice. You know, he knows. He knows everything. Listen for the instruction. Listen for the direction. Listen for the encouragement. Listen for the rebuke. Whatever, whatever it is that we need, he knows. He knows the beginning for, from the end. So this evening, you know, this evening, wait. Wait upon him. See what he would say to you this evening. And write it down and declare it as a prophetic declaration. On Sunday the August the 15th, this is what the Lord said to us. 
to encourage our heart for such a time as this. Amen.